Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, one of the first booths we're over here during the media day. We cannot wait to show you guys all the new, latest and greatest here from the Xmark booth. We got my man, Jonathan Gennari here. What's up, brother? How you doing, Brian? It's so good to see you, man. You ready for a quip? Dude, I cannot wait. Super excited. <laughs> awesome, man. So, over here at Xmark, you guys know I'm Team Xmark. We have so much content from these guys. Some of the best product in the game. I kind of call you guys the Cadillac of lawnmowers. Oh, for sure. I, I, I'm sure you would agree. 100%. 100%. So, a lot of new uh, product here a lot of latest and greatest you want to give us a little walkthrough yeah so the first one I want to show you guys is our new vertex V series so any X mark product that you see that's V series that stands for our electrification um, so this here is our vertex V series battery powered what you see here in this clear case is an example of the batteries that are actually in the unit so there's eight of these that are stacked in there to give you all-day runtime about seven plus hours all really dependent upon what your cutting conditions are some of the cool features about this unit are because it's electric we have the ability to independently control the blade tip speed from your traction speed which is something we can't do with gas units when you slow a gas engine down you're going to slow down your drive speed as well as your blade tip speed not the case with this unit we have the ability to independently control those. A couple other things, uh, a 110 volt charger. Uh, so uh, to go from, you know, let's say 10% to 100%, anywhere around, you know, about 12 hours or so, but it goes into a standard socket. So landscapers don't need to worry about doing any kind of updates to their infrastructure or anything like that. That's pretty cool. So a couple other things to point out, our caster tires on this are the same as our Vertex S series. So very durable caster tires. Um, and this really what we focused on here was we did not want to sacrifice durability uh, or anything like that for the landscape contractor. So when it comes to the frame and the deck, it's very, very similar to what we have on all of our current gas products. Nice. So commercial grade? Yes. Okay. Yes, all right, Lenny, we're coming to you. Quick little bump set spike. How you doing, brother? Good, brother. How's hey, it going, man? Good, man. Great job on the podcast that dropped this morning, by the way. Cool. Awesome. So what do we got going out for the Laser Z? So uh, this is our, uh, it's still a prototype, uh, battery Laser Z. Um, like Jonathan said, Said, the big things that we're keying on is we're not going to sacrifice durability, reliability, or cut quality to gain a little bit of runtime. We think that battery intel, it's going to come. That technology is going to come. We'll get the runtime. So um, what we're really trying to do is, hey, look, if we're going battery, let's have a machine that is worthy of uh, of, of battery, right? So we've really stylized this thing up, but still kept all the durable features. Tapered caster rollers, uh, you know, semi-pneumatic tires. We've got the Tractus tires on the back. Yeah. So what's cool about this machine, with Tractus tires on the back, semi-pneumatics on the front, there is no maintenance to this machine. All you do is dust it off, plug it in, and mow and change the blades. Wow. That is literally it with this thing. Holy cow. So, um, as far as battery, uh, we've got about 23 kilowatts, a little over 23 kilowatts of battery. What that means is we're shooting for that seven hours plus of mow time. A lot of guys will talk about runtime. We talk, look, we're out trying to, you guys are out trying to make money. We're talking about mow time is what we're looking at. So that's a big thing. Um, Jonathan's gonna come out with a 120 volt uh, charger. When we come to market with this, we're about 10 to 12 months out yet. We'll have a 240 volt, 3.3 uh, kilowatt charger, so it'll greatly reduce that charge time. You can get that done easily overnight. So that's awesome. We're just we're really excited about this thing. All right, so Lenny, this is another thing that's new with Xmark. What do we got, brother? So for the Laser ZX series, we're going to have Adapt. So what Adapt allows us to do is it allows us to change the pitch or the rake of the deck from the seat with no tools. All we do is we put a little bit of pressure on the foot pedal. We pull that pin out and then we can adjust it to where we want to go, put the pin in, and now we've adjusted the rake to match the conditions or the turf grass uh, that we're in. If that isn't where we want to be, again, we simply a little pressure, pull the pin, we can go clear to the other side um, and you can do it. So the big thing that we can do is we can raise the back up, that brings more air in. Early spring grass, that'll reduce deck packing and that clumping. Um, we can go to the opposite side to where we bring the back down. Now what that does is that increases our blade contact. So literally you'll go through whether it's weeds, stems, dandelions, any of that, and there won't be anything left as you go through that uh, as you go through that turf. That's freaking awesome. Now is this not going to be available starting 23? 
This will be available in 23, yep. Building them today. All right, guys, we've got the new Z Turf equipment. So, Jonathan, what do we got here, brother? So, really, really excited to be launching our entire new lineup of zero turn spreader sprayers. We have three models available. This one here is our max, our largest model, 60 gallon liquid capacity, 250 pound granular capacity. We also have our mid unit as well as down the end there, our Junior 36. So it's kind of a papa bear, mama bear, baby bear okay. kind of scenario. I like it. Done a lot here based off of customer feedback. Spent a lot of time out in the field, talking with applicators, understanding what their pain points were and how we could help them do their job better. So one of the first things I like to talk about is our bi-directional boom. So let's say you're going, you're spraying by a parking sign and you have to back up and you accidentally catch the boom. Oh wow. It will just flex out and then we'll snap back into position. Uh, the other thing we heard about was maintenance. Maintenance on the old Z sprays was a bit of a nightmare. It came up with a really, really cool patent pending design with a flip up hopper. Whoa. So that hopper totally flips up. Wow. It makes it really easy to clean the hopper out at the end of the day, but it also gives you great access to the engine area. A uh, couple other cool things to talk about. Um, when we were out talking with customers, they always talked about how much of a pain it was to either grease their cables or the cables weren't working correctly. So we said, hey, how can we change that? We're just gonna go away from cables. We have solid linkages on here, so we have no more cables to worry about. Well, that's awesome, man. Uh, these are available again for 2023 starting out? That is correct. Hey guys, last but not least, we wanna to talk to you about uh, our autonomous offerings that we're starting to put together. Um, so this is our, our prototype machine. It's built on a turf tracer. The reason we did turf tracer is because you want the operator to be able to run it and it run autonomous with the same balance. So if you do that on a rider, you're trying to compensate one way or the other for either the rider being on there or the loss of the rider. So uh, this, is a, this is our machine. So you've got all the, the metrics on it, so the vision and everything. What we do with this is you take it out and you mow the perimeter of the property that you're gonna be on, and then you go in and you uh, mow your exclusions. So you go through and you mow around, whether it's mulch beds, uh, play sets, whatever it might be, and then you take it to the start point, you push the button, you hit go, and then what it'll do is it'll calculate the property and it'll show you, okay, here's how, here's how it's gonna mow. So it'll mow up and back, so it'll mow those stripes into the yard. Um, so it'll do that that one time. Then when you come back to the property the next week, all you do is you bring it to that one spot, you hit go, and since we don't wanna always mow necessarily in the same direction, it'll give you an alternative direction to mow. So it might mow crossway the next time. Hey, there you go. Yeah, That's so, awesome. So that, so what, you can always sit there and uh, and switch that up. So we're going to start with the turf tracer, like I said. Uh, that's really just to give that uh, that balance between operator and no operator, and then we'll continue to move on uh, and add uh, more equipment. But um, our guy Nick Heiser, uh, incredible dude. He's going to be out doing a lot of demo and VOC of this uh, here in the coming years. So I'm sure you guys will run into him uh, at uh, at some point. But hey, just to wrap it up, thanks everybody for all your support. Um, we are so proud of what we've got coming to you guys. Um, wish you all the best in the industry. Um, come visit us at xmark.com.